Okay, so transposition of the great arteries is very serious. So essentially what happens is the aorta and the pulmonary artery switch places. So what we get is deoxygenated blood, which goes into the left ventricle instead of going through the pulmonary artery in order to be oxygenated it actually goes straight to the aorta and to the rest of the body so the rest of the body is getting um, deoxygenated blood which is not what you need in order to keep your organs perfused and then the the oxygenated blood which is in the in the left side goes straight to the pulmonary arteries goes to the lungs where it doesn't need to be oxygenated and uh comes back again so it's just it's really really not a great thing to occur the only thing which really helps in this case helps a baby survive is if we have a patent ductus arteriosus so i.e the the duct which is between the the duct which is between the pulmonary artery and the um, aorta which is essential for fetal circulation if that remains open then we have a small shunt which enables some of the oxygenated blood to come from the the aorta into the it well no into from the pulmonary artery into the aorta and some blood manages to get round the body so in this case a a defect is useful and also if this occurs if there is a if there's either a ventral septal defect or or I guess I think also an atrial septal defect, you get some mixing of blood. So therefore, a little bit of oxygenated blood can get around the body. Otherwise, it's, it's, it would be quite disastrous if, if these defects don't, didn't, didn't work there. So what um, we have to do is we have to have emergency treatment. So our emergency treatment would be to would be um, prostaglandin E2 in all, which helps keep the ductus arteriosus patent because this is the only thing which is helping and then you want to perform an ur- urgent atrial sep- septostomy so I'm guessing that's putting a hole between the two atrias which allows more mixing of blood so this forms a large atrial communication by inflating a catheter balloon across the foramen of Vali, which allows oxygenated and deoxygenated blood to mix. And surgical correction within the within two weeks of life involves the switch operation, which essentially is where the great vessels are switched over and the cor- coronary arteries reconnected to the new aorta.